What's going on guys, Killer6 back with Season 3 of the Borderlands VIP program. So big thanks to 2K for providing me with this information so I can share it with you guys. So what's new in the third season of the VIP program? The flak head and skin, Borderlands 3 weapons, the unkempt herald and fastball grenade, and one of the hardest guns to get in Borderlands 2, the Ogre. There's also some pretty sweet pre-sequel gear, like arguably the best shield in that game, the Bulwark. So before we dive into those things, if you're not familiar with the VIP program, it is completely free. No cost at all, ever. You get in-game loot, like I mentioned above, and this is the only way to get certain items in Borderlands 3, like the heads and the skins, that uh, you will see during this VIP program. So if you want to sign up, just click on the link in the description down below, which should also be the pinned comment in the comment section as well. Now that we got that out of the way, let's start with Flack and his new head and skin, which are available as a reward from the VIP program. And these are awesome. You have a psycho mask on top of a human head, which I'm assuming that Flack ripped off of a psycho and just like put it on his own head. Uh, Flack going full Hannibal Lecter here, I don't know. And then the skin is great too. I like the orange and white with the black trim. And if you look closely, you can see that it actually says Borderlands 3 on the jacket, which appears to be made out of a giant psycho mask, which is pretty crazy and cool as well. Now, before I show you guys the Borderlands 3 weapons, let's break down the pre-sequel and Borderlands 2 gear that you can also get in the VIP program during this season. Let's start with the pre-sequel loot. The Bulwark, like I mentioned earlier, is an awesome shield for pretty much every single character in the pre-sequel to use. Next is the Flacker, which everybody knows and most people hate on it, but in the pre-sequel, this thing can be used to great effect on most of the characters as a boss killer. Next is the Shooterang, the space brother of the Gunnerang. Last but not least, one of my all-time favorites, the Skull Masher. High crit damage with that satisfying feeling while you're using it. Now onto the Borderlands 2 rewards, and these are friggin' good. Up first, the Baby Maker. Great for Axton and even Krieg, doing explosive build, then this gun will do some work for you. Now that said, I wouldn't use my VIP points on this since it is a pretty easy item to farm in the game from Madame Von Bartlesby. Up next is the Unkempt Herald. Now I know it's tempting to want to use your points on this one, but again, this is an easy farm in Borderlands 2, so save your VIP points on this one and use it instead for the Ogre. Now this one, this one is a pain in the butt to get in game. You have to beat Merdolin's Temple of Slaughter, the badass round, and that crap is no joke. And then even then, there's no guarantee that you're going to get this thing to drop. So yeah, if you've ever wanted this one, this is a great way to grab it up. Finally, from the Borderlands 2 loot is the Fastball Grenade Mod. Now, this too is kind of an easy farm, but Bolt is pretty stingy. So if you need some more items to purchase in order to unlock that legendary Malawan from the VIP program, go ahead and invest in this one. And if you don't know about that Malawan, then what you need to know right now is that by unlocking any eight items, now it has to be either a gun, a shield, or a grenade mod. It can't be the heads and the skins. Those don't count toward this. But unlocking eight of those in the VIP program will get you a legendary Malawan SMG to use in Borderlands 3. And that's the only way that you're going to be able to get this Malawan. So make sure that you spend those points wisely and, and unlock that thing before Borderlands 3 comes out. Now, let's take a look at the Borderlands 3 items that you can unlock. First is a Jacob's Pistol called the Marshall. And I believe the prefix for this is Daisy. Then again, it might just be called the Daisy Marshall. I'm not entirely sure. I do not believe this is a unique. I don't think it's a legendary. I'm pretty sure this is either a blue or a purple. Bear in mind when I'm recording this commentary, I have not yet seen it on the site, so I don't know for sure. So, you know, bear with me on this one, but I'm pretty sure a Daisy Marshall is just like a, a blue or purple rarity. So yeah, bear that in mind. Still, unlocking loot like this before Borderlands 3 comes out, pretty awesome. Next is a TDR shotgun called the Premium Poison Fast Blast. TDR weapons in Borderlands 3 are a lot of fun to use, so grab this one up if you want it. Again, this is probably a fairly common item, so I don't know if you're gonna wanna use your points on this, your VIP points, but again, if you do want to use your VIP points on this, then that is going to give you an item right off the bat that you're going to be able to use once you load up Borderlands 3. And having some pretty good loot to start the game off is going to make things easier for you. You're going to get through the game faster. So keep that in mind. Finally, the Relentless Puma. This is a doll AR. And I can tell you for a fact that I saw several Pumas while I was playing at 2K. So this one probably fairly common or common-ish. So again, probably wouldn't use my points on it, but if you want to have some 
some gear for Borderlands 3 when it first drops, then sure, go for it. This is actually a pretty decent uh, doll assault rifle. So again, I don't really know anything truly about those three Borderlands 3 items. They might be random items of whatever rarity. I'm not really sure yet, but hey, Borderlands 3 loot ready for you, waiting for you on launch day. Sounds pretty great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first look at the new Season 3 VIP loot. Definitely pick up the Flathead skin. And while you're at it, go ahead and get the Mo Zane, and Amara loot if you haven't already gotten those. There's plenty of ways to earn VIP points on the site, including watching videos, linking your Twitter account, all kinds of other things. There's actually a section on the site dedicated to telling you all the things you can do to earn points. Some of those things can be done weekly, so make sure you take note of that as well. Also, make sure that you guys follow me on Twitter and Instagram, where I occasionally give out or retweet codes as well. Link for my social media accounts down in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.